friends, thank you for tuning in to Fairfield Public Library's DIY channel. I am Miss Christine and today's DIY project is going to be clothespin puppets. In your kits you receive two pieces of white cardstock paper with animals printed on them. You'll notice that the animals are facing one way on one sheet and then the other way on the other sheet. You also receive two closed pins. You will need to use your own scissors, glue, and then colored pencils, crayons, or markers, your choice. So to get started, we're gonna choose one animal from each sheet of paper. And let's see, I'm going to choose the dinosaur on this one and the unicorn on this one. And then we're gonna color them in. Okay, so now that you have two animals colored in on each of your sheets, now we're going to cut them out with our scissors. Okay, so <clears throat> you should have two of your animals cut out now. Now we're going to cut their heads off. <laughs> This is so we see their mouths moving. Um, you kind of have to, so for example, with our dinosaur, you want to cut him somewhere where you're not going to cross over the tail and you want the top teeth and the bottom teeth in the picture. I'm going to kind of go on an angle here. I don't want to come near his tail. So as you can see, I cut him a little sideways. And with my unicorn, I'm going to cut here where the cheekbone meets. Let's see, we want to do it. So, there it is. So you can see when, how they're going to talk, they're going to be like this. So as we're gluing these onto our animals, keep in mind that you want the part that you pinch to be behind them, right? So here's the part that I pinch. Here's his tail. So that's behind him, right? We want it there. Obviously we can't put it here because that's not the mouth. Picture your closed pin as the jawbone of your puppet, okay? All right. So I'm gonna put glue on the top and the bottom of my stick now. Okay, so I have my glue on. And I'm going to put my dinosaur right there. And then let's head on. So it might be a little tough to do. I have to line their faces up. And it will stick on, I promise, once that glue dries. Okay? So I kind of had to do a little bit of rearranging, but you get the, the idea. I'm going to let this dry. Okay? Now I'm going to do that to my unicorn. So same thing, part that you pinch is going to be by the tail. We're going to put our glue on. Like that. Let's see, and let's see with the horse. 
horse, the unicorn, I'm sorry, would be a little hard to do because there's so much on that side. And you see, they're all going to be a little different. And then you just want to be able to line up, line them up best you can. Once you have their heads on place, I would let them dry for at least 20 minutes. Give them some time to harden up. That way their heads won't fall off when you're playing with them. Okay, friends, the glue has dried and here they are all done. I hope you have fun with them, and this week's Beanstack code is PARK, P-A-R-K. Thanks for watching! Watch another one sometime! <laughs> Bye!